Thanks for watching Flight Plan Video Support. In this video, we will cover just a few of the basic functions of our Flight Plan Go app for iOS. The Flight Plan Go app is a valuable companion tool to FlightPlan.com. To get started, we will cover logging in. This can be done from either the FlightPlan.com icon, the Maps icon, or from the Settings icon. To sign in from the FlightPlan.com icon, click on the Sign In button in the top right corner. Enter your username and password, and when finished, tap on Sign In. As a note, the FlightPlan.com icon is an app version of the website. Once logged in, you will see all of your flight plans display. Under the Airports icon, all airport information is available including AFDs, airport diagrams, up-to-date georeference procedures, and FBO information. To view the airport information, choose your airport from the button in the top center. You can either type in the airport ID or browse by state. You can view the airport diagram by clicking on the airport diagram button. Select FBO to display FBO locations overlaid on the diagram. You can also click the Open AFD button to view it. To verify that the AFD is current, the date can be found at the bottom of the page and is updated with every cycle. FBO information can be found from the FBO tab, and this includes their services and fuel pricing if available. You can view and download procedures for that airport by clicking on the Procedures tab. There's a blue button on each airport page to download all procedures for that airport. To view the procedures, select the one you wish to view. You'll see on the procedure itself the date is watermarked at the top of the page. From each procedure, you can also choose to annotate, print, or email the document from the top header. You can obtain documented weather from within the airport page, and this includes METARs, TAFs, PIREPs, and NOTAMs. To refresh weather and NOTAMs, tap and pull down, and the timestamp will be updated in green. From the Maps icon, you can create or edit a route, view an approach plate over the map, display ADSB data, and more. To begin, select your background map from the Layers button. You can choose from Sectionals, Jet Highs, Victor Lows, Tax, Helicopter, or IFR Terminals. If you do not have access to Wi-Fi or data capabilities, make sure to use downloaded maps only. To do this, select Map Options and press Downloaded Maps Only. Tap on the top center button labeled Routes and select the route that you wish to display from the list. This route can be edited by tapping the Edit button and entering new fixes or by rubber banding the route. To rubber band it, tap and move your route to the location you want to add. You will see the Add to Route box with options including Airports, VORs, Intersections, and NDBs. Select the fix to add it to the route, or you can press the down arrow for more options. Once your route is all set, you can choose to save it or to save and file it. To save and file it, you will be redirected to the flightplan.com icon to finish the flight plan. To view approach charts over your map, press zoom on the top and then zoom to arrival. Tap on the Arrival Airport, and the Airport Information box will pop up. Select View Procedures, and choose the procedure you want to view over the map. The transparency can be adjusted for better viewing of the base map layer by pressing the Procedures Options symbol and adjusting the opacity. You can use the split screen feature to display things such as your navlog, weather, or airport information at the same time. To use split screen, Tap the blue rectangle icon on the top of the page and then select the option you want to view alongside your map. You can view your navlog and the map simultaneously as seen here. Display the HUD to view information such as altitude, magnetic course, 
distance, speed, ETE, etc. You can tap on the title header to change the information being viewed. To hide the HUD, slide right. If the HUD is hidden, slide left to view it again. To access Navlog information, go to the Navlogs icon. Tap on the top center button to view all the Navlogs associated with your account. To download, tap on the green arrow. When you refresh the list, the downloaded Navlog will now display at the top. Once it's downloaded, you can view it in different formats such as web and PDF. To print or email your Navlog, make sure that it is in PDF format and tap on the print icon or the email icon. Flightplan provides documented weather briefings which can be accessed from within the Navlog. Scroll down to Weather Info for Flight to view all weather and notams. Make sure to be logged into your account and the weather briefing will be documented for six months. Go to the external icon to connect to an external ADSB device. Make sure that your iPad is connected to the ADSB device via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Select the device from the external icon and wait for the status to read connected. Once connected, go to the Maps icon and select the ADSB tab to enable ADSB data including regional and CONUS radar, traffic, PIREPS, NOTAMs, METARs, TAFs, and traffic breadcrumbs. You can tap on the Settings icon next to Traffic to view the traffic options. Tap on the icons on the map to display additional ADSB data. The colored squares contain weather information and the airplane icons show traffic information. With our binders feature, you can add important trip information into a single binder for easy access. Go to the binders tab and tap on the top center button. You will see documents in my first binder. Tap on the plus sign to add a new binder and name your binder. Tap on OK to create it. Tap on Add in the top right corner, and from here you can add important trip details like procedures, the departure and arrival airport, AFDs, documents, nav logs, or weather briefings. Tap on Procedures to search the airport in the top search field. Select the procedures you wish to add to the binder. Tap on Airport to add the departure and or arrival airports. Tap on AFD and search the airport in the top search field. Select the AFD you wish to add. Tap on Navlog and your Navlog will be downloaded into the binder. Tap on Weather Brief and tap on the plus sign to select the weather brief type. For a route, enter your departure and arrival airports and tap on Add when finished. To view the documents that you have added, tap on them to expand. Binders allow you to have all trip information in one location for quick and easy access. You can airdrop the binder to another iOS device by tapping on the airdrop icon. This will transfer all binder information from Flightplan Go to another iPad or iPhone. To access weight and balance profiles, go to the tools icon and tap weight and balance. The first time you view the weight and balance profiles, make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi so they automatically download for offline use. Select the profile and enter the weight information for the pilot, co-pilot, seating, baggage, fuel, and fuel burn. You can also enter information such as a flight description and pilot notes. Click on Calculate to calculate the weight and balance. You will see the graph update as well as the weight and center of gravity values for the ramp, takeoff, and landing. You can tap on the plane icon to view the plane image legend and tap on the information icon to view the chart legend. You can also email the weight and balance information by selecting the email button. 
You can download important charts for offline and in-flight use by going to the Downloads icon. All download selections are consolidated into a single page view that displays the status of each including current, expired, future, and not downloaded. Tap on Maps to download information such as Jet High, Victor Low, IFR Area Charts, Sectionals, Tax, Helicopter, Reference Maps, and Layers. Tap on Procedures to select the states or provinces to download. Tap on AFD to select the region to download. As you'll see, the states are listed next to each region. You will know that the files are downloading because they will be in the download queue with download status information listed at the top. You can view the download legend at the bottom of each section to determine the file status. Green means that the charts are downloaded and up to date on your device, and gray means that the charts are not downloaded. Charts are updated on 28 and 56 day cycles in accordance with the FAA and NAV Canada. We release future charts up to five days in advance for user convenience. When a new FAA chart cycle is available for download, we notify users by posting a pop-up message saying that there is a new airport's database file available for download. To download future procedures, tap on Procedures. You will see a current edition along with a future edition. You can tap on the Download Future Procedures button to download all future procedures. When you have the current and future charts downloaded, it will show as green with a blue perimeter. You can easily update all of the charts downloaded on your device by tapping on the Update All button. This will update all of the charts in one click. You can also delete individual files by tapping and holding on the icon. A pop-up will appear asking if you want to delete the expired or the current chart. If you want to delete all the expired files at once, go to Delete Downloaded Files, which is the trash bin icon. From here, tap on Delete All Expired Files. Another helpful feature within the Flight Plan Go app is the ability to view messages from the Settings section. Tap on Settings, Messages from Flight Plan. Here we post important messages to our users, including if it's okay to update to the new iOS, when new databases are available for the upcoming cycle, and when known problems have been resolved. 